Okay, hello everyone, my name is Sun Kim from NCBI. Uh, in this talk, I'd like to talk about BIOC and pub annotation data formats and how we could increase the compatibility between these two formats uh, through this uh, uh, meeting. So, uh, BIOC is a simple approach to interoperability for biomedical text. And it's been a couple of years uh, since it first came out to the world. Um, now, BIOC is a data structure, and XML JSON and JSON are, can, are used for uh, data serialization um, formats. And now, there are BIOC libraries uh, that were implemented in many different languages. And uh, one good thing about BIOC is there are a little effort necessary to learn BIOC. And also, uh, there are good size amount of data sets already available in BIOC. So uh, these are the examples of uh, BIOC libraries, uh, tools, and uh, corpora. Um, and there's a pub, pub annotation. A pub annotation is a uh, uh, basically a repository of text annotation and the main idea behind this pop annotation is to share annotations with everyone. So uh, JSON uh, format is used for uh, communication purpose in a pop annotation. Um, so um, since pop annotation uh, stores data from around the world, uh, what format people should use is uh, to unload, to unload uh, something. So uh, this JSON format is uh, the one that uh, pub annotation are used. So people can easily unload uh, their data uh, through uh, API. And pub annotation is a, a very nice uh, text alignment tool. Uh, so it also supports format and format center uh, documents. And the last time I checked, there were uh, 27 uh, release data sets, and uh, there are many more um, beta and developing projects. So uh, there are quite many uh, corporate available in, uh, through a pub annotation. So BIOC and pub annotation have uh, quite mm -hmm. sizable uh, communities, uh, but uh, are these formats interchangeable? Uh, that's the question we want to answer um, at this time. Um, the, the simple answer is basically yes, but it's a little tricky. It's because BIOS is a very uh, flexible data format, but the pub annotation JSON is uh, a, a bit uh, rather uh, stringent. So I'd like to explain um, BIOS and pub annotation formats using an uh, example. So um, this example is about an abbreviation. Uh, here, there's a short form, TAI, and there's a long form, uh, Time Artificial Insemination. So, uh, in BIOC, uh, an annotation tag is used to uh, indicate, okay, this is a short form. And to describe uh, this is short form, uh, infant keys are used. So there are two infant keys here, and location, uh, text. It's the same for uh, long form. So we have to connect these two annotations as a relation. So uh, there's a relation tag uh, to connect these two annotations. And we assign a role for each uh, uh, reference here. So ABBI is uh, the name of the relations, and uh, we connect SF0 and LF0 using reference IDs. So how can we make the same data in publication JSON? So this is one example. There's a, there are many more ways to do this one, but uh, here's the one example. First, for annotations, there, is a, there are denotations uh, for annotations in uh, pub annotation JSON. So for the uh, short form, uh, there is a span that is response um, that's related to 
uh, offset in BIOC, and ob object is related to um, di direct match to uh, inform keys in BIOC. And the same goes for this uh, uh, long form. And there are uh, relations yeah, for uh, showing a uh, relation in uh, power notation. And there are four attributes, uh, predicate, object, uh, subject, and ID. So since um, this relation is expressed as a predicate object subject, we know that okay, there is a direction between these two annotations. So let's compare BIOC pole annotation just side by side. Okay, for this page, there are green, green highlights. These are the ones that we can just easily just convert from BIOC to pole annotation or pole annotation to BIOC. But if you see this uh, uh, yellowish or orange colors here, that uh, these are the, the ones that are more difficult to convert between these two formats. Uh, here, for sure, from in BIOC, multiple inform keys are allowed, but there is just one. Oh, let's see. Okay, there is only one. Um, uh, attribute object here, so we have to choose whether we, which one we're gonna uh, use for this object. Relation is a uh, harder case, so there's a predicate object a subject in purple notation, uh, and to uh, for the BIOC there is a. Uh, Role description for each reference. Um, so here the same issue. We have to choose which one you should go for. There's no uh, note to say okay, SF zero is about short form or LF zero is long form in uh, power notation. <laughs> and there are more um, discrepancies between these. Uh, uh, BIOC implementation. Uh, one example is the multi-span uh, case. That uh, here, the example here is the TMS short form. Uh, for some reason, peop some people use this multi-span to describe the long form. The original form is return expansion, electron microscopy. And in BIOC, uh, we uh, allow multiple locations. So is not hard to uh, describe this kind of multi-span annotation. Also, uh, we also allow multiple nodes for uh, relations. That means uh, people can uh, express energy relations. Uh, but in uh, the Bula meeting, uh, uh, we are not going to uh, think about this uh, multi-span uh, annotation and energy uh, relations because it's uh, too complicated to uh, make changes to, yeah, uh, to make uh, this uh, possible. So uh, in this bra meeting, uh, we would like to define a simpler uh, BIOC. Uh, so uh, and so skipping these two issues and focus on just how to change convert. Uh, BIOC and pop annotation formats on annotations and uh, just binary relations. So here the question we would like to uh, address in the following days. Uh, first, uh, how to make uh, BIOC and pop annotation formats 100% compatible. Um, uh, we would like to have further uh, discussion with the pop annotation team. Uh, come up with a, a good solution and improve our uh, BIOC pop annotation conversion tool. Second, how to share PubMed and PubMed Central um, documents. PubMed has titles and abstracts, uh, but depending on text minus needs, mm -hmm. more fields like a mesh may be necessary. PMC has a more text field. Uh, so other than title abstract and all these uh, uh, sub, uh, subsections, subsections, there are table and figure captions, and also references. 
Um, the BIOC repository contains all this information, but uh, we actually don't know uh, that what permutation actually saves for these uh, the same documents yet. So we would like to discuss this also in this blog meeting. Uh, so it would be very, very beneficial for everyone if there is a way uh, to share the same kind of data for uh, PubMed and PMS documents. You know, the PubMed and PMS are not static. You know, it's some PubMed and PMS documents are just updated dy dynamically and we don't know when uh, they're going to update it. So there's uh, some, um, depending on this uh, uh, time that uh, someone download the PM, PubMed and PMC, uh, they may have different text. So actually, there was uh, the same, same kind of uh, question we had for a couple of times, but there was just talk. Uh, so at this time, we were going to make things happen. <laughs> so um, I'd like to thank Siyoung uh, Wu and all the group members in um, the NCBI text mining group. And also, I'd like to thank to uh, all the three organizers. Uh, thanks.